Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'm excited for today's DIY projects. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into them. So for today's projects, I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you the inspiration piece. Um, I am thinking I want to do like a sweater, like a traditional sweater type Christmas theme. And this ornament from Dollar Tree kind of inspired me. I love this ornament from Dollar Tree. But the colors I want to go for are like a white, a red, and a gray. And they didn't have gray, so I saw these hats. And you guys have seen me use this on my gnome DIY. Um, so we are going to go ahead and create our very own ornaments. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you love these type of videos, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Show me some love. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because there's lots of DIYs where that came from. I really hope you guys had a safe and fun Halloween. And today's my birthday, so give your girl some extra love. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into it. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad, feel it too. Nothing to All right, guys, so up until this moment, we have literally just uh, taken our hat apart and we have trimmed everything down. Now we're going to go ahead and hot glue one end of our sweater and then we're going to overlap it and hot glue the other end. Once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and cut off any excess and then we're going to go ahead and scrunch the bottom and be careful not to burn yourself, you guys, because you're going to want to go ahead and get this as flush as possible. You want to make sure that this looks store-bought and perfect. So I love these finger protectors that Dollar Tree is now carrying because they do the trick perfectly. Um, but go ahead and um, hot glue as you go, but basically keep pushing it down and smushing it so that it gives you that sealed look at the very bottom, just like you see here. And then once you have done that, keep trimming as you go. And then on the top, you're gonna have a lot of excess. I like to cut it after I have done the bottom because I don't want to cut off too much. Then we're going to take cotton twine. I like to put a little bit of hot glue so that it doesn't slip off. And then we're going to go ahead and 
basically wraps them around our ornament. You decide how much of this you want to add. It's a comfort level type situation. I add as much as I like. Once I like it, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess so that it's all level with the twine. And then we're going to cut off the twine and we're going to hot glue it for this uh, particular step. Now we're going to go ahead and take our cotton twine once again and we're going to do just a little knot then we're going to put a little dab of hot glue and we're going to push it into the middle and really you guys it's simple and it's that easy and just like that you guys i could not find gray sweater uh, ornaments anywhere so i created my own and you can do the same you can customize ornaments to be whatever you want them to be now i'm going to go ahead and seal it so that our twine doesn't pop up or off i should say and all i'm doing is using my homemade mod podge but of course you could use regular mod podge <laughs> i'm not going to put it on the sweater itself i'm doing it on the bottom so that the seam stays nice and um, secure and then on the very top top so that the ribbon stays and so that the um, twine doesn't go anywhere are these not absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous you guys they're so beautiful i'm so proud of them you guys have to tell me down in the comments what you think about them i absolutely love them All right, guys, now I actually purchased these cute little mini stockings for a dollar at Target. Now, I, like I mentioned, am doing a sweater theme for this year, and I haven't quite been able to find the exact sweater pattern that I'm going for. So here are our stockings, the one for my husband, my son, and myself. Now, here's the funny thing. I hadn't realized that our stockings face the other way, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and make them work because I'm neurotic and there's just absolutely no way that we're gonna, I'm going to have our stockings facing a different way than our pets. So you're going to probably say, do you really put stuff in your pet stockings? No, we do not. We always buy our pets Christmas gifts because we love our babies, but we don't put anything in their stockings, but we still like to have stockings for them and we represent them every single year. So the little stockings are for our babies. We have Nabu, who is our very, very old um, cat. He is 15 years old, you guys. He is just an old guy. And then we have um, Gapi, Capitan. He is our 12-year-old Chihuahua Shih Tzu mix. And then we have our little troublemaker, <laughs> Genji, who's um, technically my son's dog. Um, but yeah, so we have our three pets and all three of them will be represented. Um, and so this little sack was also a dollar. As you can see here, I just took the tag off from the Target section. So I just thought this was the cutest little pattern because it has the little snowflakes and it looks like that little sweater material that I was going for. So you guys wait till you see what I'm going to go ahead and create. This is another one of those DIY projects where you're taking a cheap product and making it look expensive. You're giving it that wow factor. 
chapter. So I'm basically here kind of um, trying to figure out what the size is that I'm going to need. And in case you guys decide to purchase these exact same ones from the dollar section or bullseye, you know, playground, whatever you want to call it, um, it's two inches that I'm cutting off from this material, um, from the sack so that I can create my little, um, you know, top parts of my little boots. So I'm going to go ahead and have you guys watch and see how I do this because everything is pretty much self-explanatory until we move on to the following steps. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree They don't mean a thing till this here with me If you know All right, so as you guys saw, I was able to finish the back as well so that it looks like a completed little stocking. But you guys, here's my favorite part. So I don't let anything go to waste. You remember the cute little sweater um, ornaments that we did? Well, here's the extra material. So what we're gonna do, this brings out my inner 80s you guys yes i know i totally just aged myself but what can i say um technically i was raised in the 90s but i remember the 80s i was very very young but i still remember it anyway um leg warmers is what i'm trying to get at i am gonna make these look so stinking cute um but basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to tuck them in just like we did on the very top this is one's going to be just a little bit trickier only because it's that sweater material. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and trim. It's easier for you to see what I'm doing versus me trying to explain it. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me um, down in the comments and I will do my darnest to try to explain it as best as possible. If you know
seriously, you guys, I'm so obsessed with these. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that on our stockings, they have those little puff balls. I have some, but I couldn't find enough to kind of mimic that. However, I found three. So I thought it would be cute to incorporate a little bit of red incorporate, I'm trying to say. Um, so I thought I would just glue one little tiny red dot or puff ball. You guys get what I'm saying. I do not know how to speak. <laughs> this is why I like to show you what I'm trying to do versus trying to explain it. Um, and you guys, that pretty much concludes these cute little stockings. So they're completed on both sides and they are freaking adorable. I am so obsessed with them. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to put them on my fireplace. I am so excited to decorate for Christmas this year. I cannot wait to bring you guys along and my babies are going to be represented and they are going to just love them. Well, they won't care, but I will. All right, guys, so for our last DIY project, we're gonna go ahead and take this Dollar Tree frame. We're gonna go ahead and take the backing out, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this material. You guys should recognize it since we used it for one of our other DIY projects, our ornaments that we did. Um, like I said, you guys, I don't get rid of anything. I don't waste anything, um, and neither should you. But anyway, we're going to take our homemade Mod Podge and we are going to Mod Podge it to the back of this. And then we are going to go ahead and proceed with our next uh, step. <laughs> Christmas to me. Once you've given it enough time to dry, you're gonna go ahead and pop it back into the frame. And then we're gonna go ahead and take one of our wood pumpkins from Dollar Tree, this one, and you're gonna pull up basically the um, top and we're gonna go ahead and give this a coat of black paint. And then we're gonna allow this to also dry. Some good old time with my family. We got the chestnut slowly roasting to the voice of Nat King Cole. Now when you're not really looking. All right, guys, once you have given that sufficient time to dry, go ahead and set that aside. And now we're going to take this beautiful gift bag from Dollar Tree and we're going to take all of these pieces off. Now we're going to go ahead and take what I call the star of the show, this beautiful truck, and we're going to go ahead and also take that. And then we're also going to grab the little tree and then we're going to go ahead and hot glue the tree to the truck. I know I'm getting ahead of myself just a little bit, you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and let you see how I create this absolutely gorgeous and so fun sign for Christmas. You guys have to recreate this because it turned out absolutely stunning. I catch you underneath the mistletoe. That's Christmas to me.
watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing. Well guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know which one of these projects was your favorite. Don't forget to share my content with anyone that you think might like it. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you.